All the tier lists are shit. This is the most current, like we're still figuring out the meta. And I literally saw the tier lists like Custis, Avril's, uh, they're all outdated. Hi, I'm Hydron. I'm a pro player for the Florida Mayhem, and these are my top five heroes for Overwatch 2. Number five on my list is Zarya. So Zarya is number five on my list because she does a bit of everything and she does it well. She has a lot of self-sustain with her two bubbles being able to be applied anywhere. She also does a lot of enabling with her team. So for example, you can bubble a Genji in with his dash or you can bubble an Echo in with her fly. So another thing about Zarya that I think is really important is the fact that there's one less tank in the game. There's a lot of less counters to Zarya's grab in Overwatch 2. And when playing Zarya, you kind of force the enemy into playing certain heroes. So if I'm playing Zarya, the enemy is going to want to play Lucia for beat, but they're gonna to wanna to play Zen for Trank. A lot of the times picking Zarya can screw over the enemy team if they pick Brig or if they pick two flex supports or two main supports. Number four, Ana. The reason why I think Ana is so good in Overwatch 2 is because, like Zarya, she does a lot of everything. She's good in a lot of situations, such as brawl comps, dive comps, especially with her nano boost, and brawl comps with Ryan or in dive comps with Genji. She enables her DPS quite well in Overwatch 2 because Overwatch 2 is a really DPS centric game. So you want to give your DPS the best opportunity to pop off. And so I think Ana does that the best out of all the flex support heroes. <laughs> So the reason why Ana is at my number four actually is because while she's good in a lot of places, she actually doesn't get 100% of the playtime uh, in scrims. You can still play other support heroes like Bap or Moira uh, occasionally. So that's why she's at my number four. Oh, I don't want to so number three, Soldier. So Soldier's pretty high up on my list because of a lot of factors. So Soldier, out of all the hit scans in the game, like Ash, Widow, including Tracer, has probably the best mobility in Overwatch 2. His sprint allows him to do a lot of crazy flanks and a lot of and gives his teams a lot of opportunities to set plays now that Tracer isn't as good in Overwatch 2. Also, another reason why Soldier is so good right now is his high damage output. With one less tank in the game, there's a lot of less blocking of Soldier's damage. So if you pick D.Va, you can't have a Ryan shield, you know what I mean? So another reason why Soldier is so good in Overwatch 2 is because of his 1v1 potential. He, outside of one other DPS hero, has the best 1v1 in the game against any DPS hero. Because of Tracer's nerf and because of a lot of other heroes' new abilities and nerfs. Uh, he has his healing pod, which gives him a lot of self-sustain. And he has his high damage output with his helix rocket and that's another reason why i think soldier is one of the best picks in overwatch 2. So my number two on the list is Genji. The reason why Genji is so good in Overwatch 2 is due to a lot of factors. His mobility is probably right now the best in the game with his wall climb allowing you to reach high places on high ground, especially with the new maps. The maps favor a lot of mobility favorite heroes. So Genji, Soldier example, all have good mobility. So that's why those heroes are mostly good. So another reason why Genji is so good in Overwatch 2 is his 1v1 potential. His burst damage with his right click dash combo is extremely important in Overwatch 2. He can 1v1 almost every DPS hero in the game with ease in close range. So probably the biggest reason as to why Genji is so good is because of his dynamic duo with Lucio. Genji, in order to get value, needs to get really close range, and Lucio helps him do that with his speed boost. So in Overwatch 2, Genji's blade is actually probably one of the best ults in Overwatch 2. Contrary to Overwatch 1, his blade gets a lot of value with Zarya's double bubble, uh, Ana's nano boost, and Lucio's speed boost all help Genji's blade immensely, and is a big reason as to why he's so good right now. Oh, 
Ah non mais 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 Lucio is the best hero in Overwatch 2 for a lot of reasons. So Lucio's amp contributes a lot to Overwatch 2 new fast tempo. His beat charges extremely fast in Overwatch 2 and it's probably the safest ult, uh, safest support ult in Overwatch 2. So Lucio's fast tempo in Overwatch 2 contributes a lot to different comps, so brawl, dive. You can set up a lot of fast dives now or you can engage pretty fast with your Reinhardt or with your Ana. Lucio's also really good in the mid fight because for example, if the enemy team plays Monkey, you can just boop them away. If the other team plays ball and he's slamming, you can boop them away. If the Genji, if the enemy team's Genji dashes on you, you can boop them away. Uh, I can watch. So that was my top five Overwatch heroes in Overwatch 2. Be sure to subscribe. Oh, I'm like. <laughs> So that was my top five heroes in Overwatch 2. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe, follow, turn this notification button. You know what to do.